Hello Libra and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week of January 17th and this is a quick and general reading. Libra. For a lot of you, <clears throat> it's like what goes around comes around kind of karma, but I feel that everything is as you've created it. So, <clears throat> wow, I'm dealing with a frog in my throat because I have some allergies. When I say everything is as you've created it, all you create and have created, this is either you've manifested this um, or it's, you know, cause and effect. So you're dealing with things that you actually have created. A good example of this is just say you always love chocolate ice cream. You always got chocolate, chocolate, and you bought like tons of it to last you and stocked it up in, in the freezer. And now you cannot stand chocolate ice cream anymore. But you did create, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know it's a really flimsy type of example, but um, this could be with love or work. You've wanted so badly to have your own business and you started something and you thought you loved it and then later you're like, oh my God, and you have all these problems or you don't like what you're doing, but you've actually created it. You know what I mean? Um, so, or was be careful what you wished for. So everything is as you've created it. Now, you have to learn the lessons. These are lessons in life. So this is, you know, sometimes we went beyond, um, we thought we want something, we didn't. There is that kind of energy, all right? All you create offers you lessons in life. So everything comes with lessons as well. So I do see that energy. So I see soul searching. Um, I see um, like kind of... Um, you're, you're, you're your own teacher now. You know what I mean? I do see that kind of energy, feeling a little bit lonely, but more to yourself. Also, trust where you're being led, okay? There's a purpose for everything. For some of you, I do see dealing with, um, this could be inheritance, uh, property. Um, for some of you, this could be like, your parent or someone says, hey, I want to write up a will and put you as the... Um, I don't know what's that called, um, leadership or the the main one or something. Um, God, or they um, want to put you um, on the title of a home, or there is something here. Okay, someone wants to pass on some kind of money or property or something to some of you. Okay, um, or yeah, you're the guardian. Maybe you have to sign up being somebody's guardian. I do see that kind of energy. And it's got to do a lot with home. Um, property. Uh, things like that. So there's a sense of inheritance or something. Um, or someone wants to leave you an heirloom or something. You know, there is that kind of energy that I do see here. Okay. Now. I see you could be very anxious this week, very cautious. Uh, jealousy is showing up here too. It surrounds you. Um, listen and connect to your intuition. It'll help guide you. Something is going to be wrapped up, okay? Now, I do see here there can be some negotiations, settlements, uh, money, future planning. Um, and this is also talks are important, but this can be even arguments over finances, um, money disputes. I do see that kind of energy. There is money on divine timing. Some of your efforts or projects, um, they will pay off, but, um, needing to put a little bit more, um, effort into something. Um, there's something here you need to explore love and create. Um, the only thing that kind of holds you back is actually yourself. So these are either preconceived notions or moving forward somehow too. Okay. Manifestation is high. But there's an important message. It's almost like the universe is asking you, what does your heart really want? Be free to manifest your heart's desires and believe in it. Because I see you can manifest a lot. Again, you've already drawn things in um, for the future. Okay, it's next 60, 90 days and maybe four months, things like that. Um, so definitely manifestation is. But when it comes to relationships, commitments, um, groups of people, things like that, you need to know what your heart really, really wants, okay? There's a redirection here. 
There is some kind of transformation and ending. Something is going to end. Um, this is almost like following the path of another or another path is opening up because your path is being redirected to where it should be. So you're being kind of redirected here. Okay. So, and something's going to end because of it. Um, I do see making some decisions. Um, choices that you're going to have to make that you've been putting off, but you have to be very authentic about it. Your way is the only way for you. That is a strong message that I see here. Okay. Very defensive energy. Um, this is a decision that it could be painstaking for some of you that you have to make. And this is people's situations leaving your life. So this is like a change of perspective moving forward. Um, um, look at things in the light of love. Um, bring some new love into your life. Something more refreshing, supporting. Remind yourself to breathe as well. Okay, so it's at times it's almost like. Um, you may have a win over some kind of dispute, but it comes with a cost. And I think it's a clearing um, because you're really being redirected. Uh, remind yourself to breathe, okay, and breathe love into your life. That's very, very important as well, okay? Interesting energies for Libras this week, I have to say. All right, Libra, that is your reading for the week of January 17th. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Bye for now.